So what I've got here is I'm in a field of 360 chain roll. Um, it did about uh, 236 bushels in this field last year. So there's a tremendous amount of residue here that in just a couple weeks, uh, basically a planter is going to be through here and planting soybeans. And so this is what 360 chain roll looks like. You can just see the darkening, uh, the significant darkening of the residue uh, sized in pieces. Uh, sometimes that cut just barely holds on. It peels right off. And you can just see the darkening through the pith that this is much further along than what just a standard opposing roll is. So this is an opposing roll which is very common across a lot of corn heads. Uh, really doesn't matter on the color of the corn head, just it's, it's been a very popular roll. And you can see here where the opposed came through and basically grabbed this stock and pinched it enough to be able to pull it down, but it did not penetrate that rind. And as we look at that, you can just see that there's just not a lot of activity. As you walk through these fields, you hear them crunch and pop and crack, but we really haven't seen them start to degrade and be able to turn themselves back into the nutrients. So as we start looking at 360 chain roll, uh, we're really pleased at what we're seeing here and you can see where we've made the penetrations into that stock with a piercing roll and we've been able to see what we've been able to accomplish. So as you look at harvest of 2018 which will be here certainly before we know it there's a lot of options out there. Just wanted to show you today what I'm looking at. Uh, we continue to strive for high yields. We continue to have to manage very very important residue to make that planter pass do what we want it to do. 360 chain roll is one of those tools.